Hey guys, I'm LG Gamer, and this is going to be the fifth part in the Factory Simulator tutorial series. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make your base big and how to make it simple without actually spending multiple hours per day in the game. Now, the game currently does not have an idle mode, so whenever you turn off the game, your profits will stop. But using an auto clicker or a built in game booster for some Samsung smartphones, you can let your game run over the night and generate profits. That's the easiest and probably the best way to earn some cash. So now I'm going to show you what my usual base looks like. I mean factory. It's like this. I have a bunch of drills, a bunch of crushers and furnaces and a bunch of production lines. But to get here, I spend about half a million to three quarters of a million dollars. I mean in game bucks. I, I don't actually know which currency that in game is. And to do that, it took me a long time. So I'm going to show the more basic base. And this is how it looks. Well, this one only has one error. And that is that at this point in this corner, it doesn't actually have a filter. So yeah, I'm going to build a filter now and put a box here. So everything that's not actually, um, that's not thin will go into the box so it doesn't get into the crushers which can then then can't be processed in the wire mill here that's a mistake i made i forgot to do that so to actually make this work i would have to replace the the end of the conveyor belt which is right here with a seller and it's uh, it's cheap but and actually put a it's called shop I believe yeah shop and this is how you now automate everything in the shop you can just click auto buy the repair kit and you set it up to 300 seconds I believe and this is pretty much around what it usually works here now if you think that 300 seconds doesn't actually make the drill stop for longer times you can decrease because the drills can have an infinite amount of repair tools, so that's not a problem. And now for this factory to be efficient, it should run about 2-3 to three hours, and it should generate a lot of profit in the meantime. But I don't have that much time, so I am going to just show you how to make it automated, and then just leave it over the night. And the one thing they have added in one of the recent updates, which I wasn't able to show in the previous videos, is a small plus right here on the top. If you press it, you get GEMS, and GEMS do different boosts, like uh, increasing speed by different amounts. And unfortunately, I don't yet know how to get those GEMS, but in the next video, I'm going to figure it out and probably use them. So it can be done in furnace, the crushers, and all assemblers to build stuff. But it can't be used on a drill yet, at least. So now that you've done this, you should probably just set up an auto clicker. And in the settings, you can set up the maximum amount of time that your screen times out. And if you can set it up to 10 or 30 minutes, that's the best. But I'm going to show you the auto clicker now, just in a second. So I have turned on the auto clicker. The one I installed is the most basic auto clicker. It's the first one I found after typing auto clicker into the Google Play Store. And what you want to do is basically just put it somewhere on the screen randomly and just in the settings, tap on, I don't know, minutes probably and tap on your timeout screen or maybe just below it. So my timeout is 10 minutes. So I'm going to put it on nine and let it run indefinitely and that's it I'm gonna save now every nine minutes it's gonna tap on the screen and leave my screen turned on but this is going to be a giant battery waste so I recommend you put it on to charging and then it would run all night and in the morning the battery would be full and the phone wouldn't be heated up because the game is very good designed and it doesn't actually overheat the phone the only thing he does do is battery heats up and that's why your phone is hot after using it for longer times. So using this simple auto clicker, you can basically turn it into a idle game, except that it has to be turned on. 
and then you just decrease the brightness and leave it overnight. So this way I managed to earn a lot of money because I can play a lot daily, that's why I rarely make videos. But this trick works for me and I did make a lot of stuff. I forgot to press play by the way. But yeah, you turn on the auto clicker and you leave it overnight. And in the morning then, you turn off the auto clicker, you sell all the cash if you put it into a storage, but you should always put it on sale so that the shop can actually buy stuff and if you don't have any cash, it can't buy. And if you have any of the wheels, I mean gears, you can trade them into for cash and sometimes if you're low on cash and you really need it, it's, it's a good thing, it can be useful. So now I'm going to turn off on this thing and it's going to start creating speakers. Speakers are the best for the beginning because they are not so hard to make. They only require tin ore and then making wires and the electronic component one from them. And they're each worth 25 bucks and they also give you research points. Now, I don't know how many it gives, I can check. Each speaker gives two and a half research points, so... Eventually, you're going to be able to research new items and just upgrade your blueprints. So, I hope this video has explained a lot of your stuff to you and helped you because that, that was my point of the video. Also, I had in the comment request that my videos would be better cropped and unfortunately, I yet don't know how to do that and the issue isn't that I don't know how to crop videos but all my recording and editing is mobile only because I currently get, can't get to my PC, it's in the different country and that's why I'm currently doing all my videos and everything on the mobile and the reason why the picture is weird is because my screen and my screen recorder are in different resolutions and I can decrease the screen resolution and I can't increase the recorder's resolution. So I'm hoping that what I did for this video will work now and it will be normal or as normal as possible. Otherwise, well, please just bear with it. I'm doing my best here. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me, even if you don't watch any other of my videos. And if you have any other questions or if I did anything wrong explaining or you didn't understand something, write in the comments. I always try to write back and explain everything I missed. So thanks for watching and see you in a few months probably in my next video.